Hi there. Today I want to start a series to show you how to use this ESP8266 on this small board called Nook MCU D1 Mini to create different projects from the simplest traffic lights to the most complex game console. So why do we need to consider this new chip? This chip has been here for a few years, manufactured by China, and compared with the conventional Arduino, Uno, or Nano, it has additional functions like uh, Wi-Fi, so you can use it for IoT. It has more memory, and it also runs much faster, 80 megahertz. Starting from this video, you learn how to set up from start, also try to build a traffic light. We will add more components as we go on to make it a sensor that can talk to the internet and turn it into a greenhouse controlling the palm and the light for the plants, like this one. Now this one I was made using ESP32, but we're going to convert it to ESP8266. And finally, we'll make an Arduino Boy like game console. To get started, we need to purchase this ESP8266 board called Nook MCU D1 Mini. It's available on AliExpress. It's only one to two US dollar, excluding shipping. One thing you need to be aware is that it ships without the pins soldered. So you might want to talk to the shopkeeper to say, uh, I want the shortest pin soldered so it can be plugged into the blackboard. Next, we need to set up the Arduino IDE. Arduino IDE is the development environment we need to use. So we go to this URL and download a copy of the program. First time you're using it, you see a warning from Apple. Just uh, override it. Then you can run it for the first time. It will take a bit longer as you build up the library. Once you're in, we need to go to Arduino Preference to add a URL for the additional board manager of our ESP8266. Just follow the description and put this in. Then you have to exit the program and start it again to kick in the preference. Uh, go to board, board manager, put in 8266 as the search word. And then you'll find the board manager there. Click install to install it. Once it's installed, you will be able to see it in the tools board and you can scroll down to see ESP8266 and choose the right board, Vmos D1 and Mini. To test if everything is alright, we'll use the file example and select basic and use the blink program which will blink the built-in LED. In Arduino, programs are not called programs, programs are called sketch. So we open this sketch called Brink, and then let me explain a bit how this works. When the controller board started for the first time, it will start running code in the setup program. So the voice setup bracket. What's inside the program is it will set the pin mode of the built in LED. To output that means that pin is for the output direction not for the input then it will start running the code in the void loop function now this void loop function is very strange or special this function will keep running again and again until you unplug the power or you press the reset 
So this is how Arduino work. Set up once and then loop forever. So every line in the loop program will be run forever. Uh, first line is digital writes, LED built-in high. That one means we will need to turn this voltage level of that LED pin to high voltage, which is 3.3 volts. Next, we have the delay 1000, which means delay for one second, because the unit here is milliseconds. After that, we do the digital write again. This time we use the low parameter, that means we are setting the voltage back to zero, back to ground level. This way the LEDs will be turned off. And finally, we will have to delay, another delay, one second, so that uh, we can bring the LED on one second, off one second, and repeat. Next, let's plug the USB cable from the computer to the microcontroller unit. Go back to Arduino IDE, select tools, port, and then find the right port that has been connected. Then we can click the arrow to start compiling and uploading the code to the microcontroller. Once the code is uploaded, the CPU will be reset and you can now see the blink program is in action, the LED of the microcontroller stop blinking. To prove that it's actually running the code we have uploaded, let's change the pattern a bit. We shorten the time the LED is light up to 0.3 seconds and then compile and upload again. Let's see. Now we can see that the blinking seems to be shorter. LED is on for only 0.3 seconds. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video and subscribe.